I'm Terry Kim, Professor of Ophthalmology at Duke University Eye Center. We've been using the Resure sealant since it was FDA approved, which was January of 2014. Previously, we were using sutures to close leaking clear corneal incisions. The Resure sealant was the first FDA approved product specifically for sealing clear corneal incisions that were leaking. We've uh, investigated its uh, potential for, for sealing these incisions in this scenario compared to using a suture or stromal hydrating incision. The sealant has provided us the luxury of not having to use a suture, which requires opening the package, passing the suture to the wound, tying it, and bearing it, of course, removing the suture. Uh, in addition, it's given us the extra, I think, security that wounds may not be sealed just with stromal hydration. Typically in my practice, I've been using it in patients who have had a premium lens, whether it's a multifocal accommodating or even a toric lens. I think it's most applicable for the accommodating lens because in that scenario, you don't want any wound leakage that may change the effective lens positioning, uh, as, uh, which can lead to what's called the Z syndrome. So it's been very effective in that arena. This is a very straightforward product. What you do is just take the diluent dropper and you put it on the blue disc that's uh, uh, available on the tray. There are two wells per tray. Uh, and then you take the applicator and you mix the two components together for about five seconds. And then you scoop some up with the sponge portion of the applicator and apply it onto the ocular surface. I typically like to do that by seven seconds. I'm dabbing it on the surface and then I'm off the eye by 11 seconds and I wait about 15-20 seconds for it to fully polymerize. And I recommend using the applicator sponge that it comes with and not the Wexel sponge because uh, so, you may want to try that but it, it's not effective in that scenario. I think with patients' expectations higher, that are higher with today's uh, refractive cataract procedures, it's nice to have some extra security that these wounds are not going to uh, leak and the lens is going to stay exactly where you intend it to stay. We put a lot of emphasis in terms of aura and all these devices to make sure we have the lens where we want it to be with a good refractive outcome. I think this helps provide that as well. In addition, I think there are specific scenarios such as a monocular patient, a patient with MRSA, patient perhaps who's had RK surgery, uh, any scenario where the wounds may be more difficult to close uh, and in, in addition where you may want more uh, security to that wound, uh, this has been a nice product to, to have in the armamentarium. One of the challenges that a lot of practice may have with the short sealant is its cost. Uh, there is a cost associated uh, to it. What's also surprising is when surgeons first try it, I think they're, they're impressed with how it performs. So I encourage every surgeon to at least try it. We've all hit wounds that are going to leak at one point or another. Uh, so try it and I think you'll find uh, for yourself where you're going to use it and where it fits in your practice.